this is Chad from RC Counters, and standing behind me is the latest generation and industry leading can counter technology. Let's do a walkthrough together of this machine's incredible capabilities and numerous features, starting with the 12.5 cubic foot hopper. What you're looking at here is our regular hopper at 12.5 cubic feet that holds approximately 450 PET or 600 aluminum cans. We also do have an extra large hopper at 21 cubic feet and it holds approximately 750 PET or 1000 aluminum cans. The hopper right here is its widest part of the counter at 48 inches. Now I want to show you the heart of the system. This is it right here. When I press the start button, the cans will come up the incline conveyor and hit the three horizontal belts. This is where the cans and PET will get separated. At the final stage, you'll see they go through an ultrasonic sensor. This does the counting for you before it hits the mega bag. One of the key safety features of the RC counter is this gem sensor right here. It will detect a buildup and within three seconds it will shut down the machine where you will come and sort the gem or the blockage that is here and then restart the machine. All of our RC counters come with touchscreen computers. As we were counting the PET, the plastic containers that were going into the mega bag, we had a PET count. So that's shown up here, 56. Now if we go to PET batch, this number will drop down to the bottom. So that says how many are in your mega bag. This is for the new customer. So when the new customer puts in the hopper, his containers of PET, it will show here. And the bottom one here will actually count as well as a total in the mega bag. When you have a new customer, you will press reset. Are you sure you want to reset the pet batch? You'll say yes, and it will go to zero. But your final total count, what's always in the mega bag, will be on the bottom to the preset settings inside this computer. I'd like to take you one step further into the RC computer. Now you see the setting up here that says settings. If you press that on the touch screen, you'll see the pre presets here. Now these are your preset values. For the can, this RC counter is specific for the PET. So you'll see the 1440 here. You could change that to any value you wish. You could go back, which erases, and then put in your value to whatever you want. You save it. What's really unique about the RC counter is when it gets close to this 1440 count, the RC counter will stop within 10 units of its total count. And this is really nice because if you screen over here, you will go back over here to the jog button. This is where it will start up the machine as long as you're holding this button in. You're obviously wondering how accurate our RC counter is. Well, I've pre-counted 50 PET containers in here. Let's just see how accurate the RC counter is. So let's start the machine. You can see that the presets are on zero and they're on the PET count. Start.
So you can see now that the hopper is empty. The conveyor is going. There is no more containers left at all. You can see how quiet the machine is too. It does not make a lot of noise. In this case, it's 100% accurate. But as you deal with larger volumes, the accuracy will be within 99.5%.